Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now let me discuss about the title of the process. The title of the process is Towards Effective Back Triage with Software Data Reduction Techniques. Next, let me discuss about the abstract of our process. Sorry, objective of the process. The main objective of the process is to correctly assign a developer to a new bug. It is to determine the order of applying instance selection and feature selection. The main object is to build a small scale and high quality set of bug data by removing bug reports and words. It is for to augment the data set of bug trash in two aspects. It is for to addressing the problem of data reduction. It is also used to predict the order of applying instance selection and feature selection. It is also used to obtain a subset of relevant features. The main objective is to augment the data set to build a pre-processing approach which can be applied before an existing bug triage approach. This is mainly used to predict whether a software artifact contains false according to the extracted features of the artifact. Then now let we discuss about the abstract of our process. Normally a software bug is an error or flaw or failure or fault in a computer program or system that causes it to produce an incorrect or unexpected result or to behave in unintended ways. To decrease the time cost in manual work, the text classification techniques are applied to conduct automatic bug triage. In this project, the system proposes some effective software data reduction techniques for bug triage. The system combined combines instance selection with the feature selection to simultaneously reduce data scale on the bug dimension and the word dimension. To determine the order of applying instance selection and the feature selection, the system extracts attributes from historical bug data sets and build a predictive model for a new bug data set. This work provides an approach to form, reduce and high quality bug data in software development and maintenance. These are the abstract of our process. 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 Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. First our process starts with uh, data set collection. First we have to extract the bug data set. This is called as a training data set in our process. After that here we load that particular data set into the database. After we train that particular data set here we are applying a FS and IS algorithms. Then by using word and bug dimensions here we classify the bug data set and here we form the new data set and restore into that particular database. Here we um, form a new data set and store into the database. After that if a developer uh, register the information and particular information will be stored in the database. Then on the particular re uh, register developer reported that particular fix. If bug is a new or fix, we have to analyze that one. If the bug is existing, we have to select the developer. Then we have to assign that particular to the bug to the particular developer. Here we are using US and uh, uh, FS for IS and US, uh, FS for assigning the particular bug to the developer. Then enter the status of the bug. Then here we are um, need to check that uh, particular developer status is satisfied or uh, unsatisfied by using that particular information here we are resolved that particular bug and store into the database then by using that uh, information here we are analyzing the accuracy by using that here we are evaluate the performance of the graph so if the bug is uh, uh, already it's a new one uh, it is uh, reported as a new bug into the database and analyze the bug data as a developer performances this is a complete data flow diagram of our process now let me discuss about the complete demo of our process. First we have to run uh, home.java. Just, just I click that file and click run file. Home page will open here. So our title is towards effective back triage with the software data reduction technique. So we click continue button. So if you are a developer, you need to log in here. Uh, so if you are new user, you need to click a new user button. So just uh, here we are using registration form like that. So here we are enter to enter all the details in the registration form and then click submit uh, button. 
information will be rolled into the database then here uh, click login button here you have to enter your login id then enter your password and click sign in i give you the information will be viewed here then if you are admin going to store the information so you just enter admin as a id and password as a password and click sign in so login successfully so here you need to select the data so this is a bug data set i have to load that particular data into the database then click next button here we are uh, selecting the features which are available in data set uh, features available in which uh, data sets are id bug id summary description report time report time status status commit commitment time and then files these are the informations in the data set and click next button so here we are uh, select the particular column and view the particular process particular information in the uh, data set then click next button here we are using instance selection you just enter some id uh, click search button that particular id then summary informations will be displayed here and then click next button so here we are uh, identifying that particular bug status uh, so here we have a lot of uh, bug status like uh, resolve fix resolve won't fix close fix close won't fix and verified fix by using the status here we are viewing that particular bug informations so then click next uh, so resolve fix and then particular information will be displayed here then click the particular id then click view button that information will be displayed here this id will be selected for allocating that particular developer this bug was selected then here we are uh, we have to select the developers for allocating that particular bug then click i uh, here I am clicking that particular third developer ID then click view here developer information will be viewed here then click assign that particular ID has been assigned successfully so here we are getting the particular bug ID developer name developer mail ID will be displayed here then click assign to developer that information will be back I bug will be assigned to the particular developer process then here we log in into the developer developer so that information will be viewed here so that bug id bug information will be viewed here then click next uh, then developer id bug id will be displayed here that particular bug information will be displayed here so that information is also displayed here by using that particular accuracy here we are evaluating the existing system and proposing system this is a complete demo of process thank you for watching